in this lesson or in this series of lesson we will learn sorting algorithm in our previous video we learned selection sort now in this video i'm going to teach you another type of sorting algorithm named bubble sort so let's start in this technique we sort the given array in ascending or descending order by comparing two adjacent element at a time and placing them in correct position if we have n elements then it requires n minus 1 pass to sort the elements here we take an array a with five elements and the elements are stored in the indices from 0 to 4 here we sort the array in ascending order since the array has five elements so we need maximum four pass to sort this array what we are going to do here here we scan the array from left to right for a particular element while scanning we compare that particular element with the adjacent element here we compare the element 3 at index 0 with 8 at index 1 if the element at current position is greater than the adjacent element then we swap the two elements here 3 is lesser than 8 so we are not going to swap these two elements next we consider the element 8 at index 1 and compare with 6 at index 2 8 is greater than 6 so we swap these two element after swapping 6 comes at index 1 and 8 goes at index 2 next we compare 8 with 2 8 is greater than 2 so we swap these two element 2 comes at index 2 and 8 goes at index 3 next we compare 8 with 1 8 is greater than 1 after swapping 1 comes at index 3 and 8 goes at index 4 at the end of pass 1 8 is at correct position in pass 2 again we scan the array from left to right and compare current element with the next element first we consider 3 at index 0 and compare it with 6 at index 1 3 is less than 6 so we no need to swap next we compare 6 with 2 6 is greater than 2 so we swap these two element after swapping 2 comes at index 1 and 6 goes at index 2 next we compare 6 with 1 6 is greater than 1 so we swap these two element after swapping 1 comes at index 2 and 6 goes at index 3 at the end of pass 2 6 is at correct position if we divide this array into two parts then this part is sorted and this part is unsorted next time in pass 3 when we compare the elements we no need to consider the elements in sorted part we just compare the elements in unsorted part in pass 3 we compare 3 with 2 3 is greater than 2 so we swap these two element next we compare 3 with 1 3 is greater than 1 so we swap these two element 1 comes at index 1 and 3 goes at index 2 at the end of pass 3 3 is at correct position so this part is the sorted part and this part is unsorted part so in pass 4 we just compare these two elements 2 is greater than 1 so we swap these two element and after swapping we get this one now you can see here at the end of pass 4 the array is sorted in each pass we require n minus k comparisons where n equal to number of elements and k equal to pass number for this example in pass 1 we require 5 minus 1 equal to 4 comparisons in pass 2 we have 3 comparison in pass 3 we have 2 comparison and pass 4 we have one comparison next we write the algorithm for bubble sort this algorithm sorts an array a with n elements to sort n elements we need n minus one pass for that we write here a loop that runs from one to n minus one in each pass we compare ith position element with i plus one th position element for that we run here another for loop for i equal to 0 to n minus k minus 1 
we know in each pass we require n minus k competition since here we start from 0 so it runs up to n minus k minus 1 if ith element is greater than i plus 1th element then we swap this two element for that we use here a temporary variable temp equal to a of i a of i equal to a of i plus 1 and then a of i plus 1 equal to temp if statement is ended inner for loop is ended outer for loop is ended and then algorithm is ended next we calculate the complexity for this algorithm the time for a sorting algorithm is measured in terms of number of competition for n elements array in first pass we require n minus 1 competition in second pass we require n minus 2 competition similarly in kth pass we require n minus k competition and in the last pass we require one competition so the total number of competitions are fn equal to n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 up to 1 and if we calculate this then we get n into n minus 1 by 2 which is equal to big O of n square next we write the program for bubble sort so let's move to the coding section here we write a program that will sort an array of integers in ascending order First, inside the main function, I am going to declare an array that will hold the input numbers. int a within the square bracket, specify the size. And we need another variable for loop counter, that is i. Next, I am going to ask user to enter numbers. print f enter numbers. To receive input from user, we use here a scanf function. Since we scanning the array element, so we use here a for loop. For i equal to 0, i less than 5, and then i plus plus. Then scanf percent d, and here we refer ampersand a of i. Next, we call a function named bubble sort that will sort the array. Here we pass the array name and number of elements as arguments. Array name is A and number of elements 5. Next we printed out the sorted list to the screen. So I am going to write here printf sorted list is to print the list we use here a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than 5 and then i plus plus then printf percent d and here we refer a of i main function is completed next we define this function bubble sort void bubble sort the first argument that we pass through this function is array name array name means here we actually pass the base address of the array so to hold the address we need a pointer variable so i'm going to write here in star a second parameter is an integer value so i'm going to write here int n here we will use the same logic that we have used in the algorithm first i'm going to declare the variables that we will use in our program int k i and temp to sort an array of n elements we need n minus 1 pass for that i'm going to write here a for loop that runs from 1 to n minus 1 k equal to 1 k less equal to n minus 1 and then k plus plus in each pass we have n minus k competitions for that i'm going to write here another for loop for i equal to 0 i less equal to n minus k minus 1 and then i plus plus in each pass we have n minus k number of competition but here we start from 0 that's why it runs up to n minus k minus 1 now we compare ith element with i plus 1th element for that i'm going to write here if 
a of i greater than a of i plus 1. If i -th element is greater than i plus 1 -th element, then we swap the two elements. That is temp equal to a of i, a of i equal to a of i plus 1, and then a of i plus 1 equal to temp. The last thing that we need to do, we need to declare the function prototype. So I am going to copy it and paste here. Give here a semicolon. Give some space here to look better. Ok, our program is completed. Let us check the output. Compile and run. Enter numbers. I am going to enter 3. 8, 6, 2 and 1. Now press enter and it print sorted list is 1, 2, 3, 6 and 8. This is it. Hope you understand. If you like this video, please share it and click on the like button. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Get in touch with us. Visit us on YouTube at youtube.com slash slide hunt. Join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash slide hunt. Follow us on Twitter and Google+.